um, well, I can show you an example. Something like possibly this, where the heel, it's a thinner heel, so it's a lot less stable than something with a thicker heel. It's also probably a little bit high. We usually want to keep around an inch. Um, also, you can see the bottom here, it's a smooth sole, so it's not going to keep a lot of traction on the ground. Um, and also the open toes and the openness here, this is easy to slip off on people's foot. So it's not exactly something that's going to stay on someone's foot as easily as something that's more covered. Uh, something like this would be a little bit better. You can see that the um, heel height is a lot lower. There's also a lot more ridges and traction on here and it covers the entire foot. So this is going to stay on your foot a lot easier than something with, that's a little bit more open. Okay. Thanks for helping us today. When we approached you today, um, what were you shopping for? A comfortable shoe, one with arch support and non-skid bottoms, not too high a heel, something that I won't fall from or twist my ankles or have an unnecessary mishap. So Eileen, you said that you told me that after a while you just know what's going to work. So how do you just know? When I walk, I can tell if it's staying on my foot, if it feels stable, if I feel like I might slip or skid, if it has arch supports that keep my foot in line, um, and just the sheer comfort. It should be comfortable with me. Well, I mean, right, when it comes to safety, that seems like it's pretty important, but we also, a lot of us like to look stylish too. Do you feel like you have to sacrifice style for safety? Can you have both? You can have both. Um, you might have to skip over some of those ballroom shoes, but you can have some stylish shoes as well that are very safe and comfortable.